everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. Today we're talking about fashion, surprisingly. I know you would think all of these stuffed animals had something to do with it and they do in their own way. Today we are talking about some absurd runway fashion looks. So you know like high fashion, the good stuff. We're gonna be seeing if we can pull off some high fashion looks in real life. Now we of course are gonna be DIYing these high fashion looks, putting our own little totally trendy spin on it and then of course wearing them one of those is gonna be oh man it's essentially gonna be a top that is covered in stuffed animals so this is heavily inspired by a photo that I saw in a cosmopolitan article about some of the most bizarre fashion runway looks and this woman had a crop top covered in beanie babies I also feel like I have seen this before like jackets like covered in like actual teddy bears it's a thing I, I don't know what designer this specific one is of the girl in the crop top maybe I'll figure that out but yeah it, a pretty absurd look and here's the thing Runway fashion is art in the sense that it is a part of a larger show. People are there to see it. Not all of it is meant to transfer into the real world. We're going to see if this one can. So we're going to be making a stuffed animal shirt. But first, we are going to try one a little more tame. We are going to make our own version of this Jeremy Scott sweater. Now, this is something that I've seen in a lot of runway shows recently. Just a lot of um, words, in a sense. It's very camp. It's kind of hard to explain, but statement pieces for sure. We are going to try to make our own little version of this. I, of course, needed a base piece for this look, so I grabbed grabbed a cardigan that was pretty big and a very popular print right now is cheetah print but we are going to figure out what words to put on this so I'm gonna go around and ask some people just for a word let's gather some words first I feel like one has to be trendy because I feel like that definitely sounds like something that like you would see on like a runway piece like because it's like supposed to be like self-aware so it's like trendy like saying that that's so trendy is gonna be one of the words. Oh, Sierra. Yes. Yes. I'm filming a video right now, obviously. <laughs> and I just need you to give me a word. Any word, like just, it can. It just a any word, whatever first comes to mind. Pumpkin. Okay. Pickles. It's so. <laughs> I was like, it is so dark in here. Pickles. That's Pickles. your word. Mm -hmm. That's another P word. Great. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> well, okay. We have pumpkin and pickles so far, so <laughs> we'll see. I just texted Cat and Woods and was like, hey, send me a random word right now. Oh, wait. Woods already responded. Woods sent me tape. Okay. Okay. Cat just said hooks. So we have trendy, pumpkin, pickles, tape and hooks. I think five is gonna be enough. This is really gonna be an art piece, isn't it? I'm excited to see what people think when they like try and figure out what it all means. I can't find a font that's like exactly like this and that's fine. They wanna protect their art, I get it. But I felt like this font was something that like I could see on a shirt. So we are going to go ahead and make these a bunch of different colors. Trendy, pickled, pumpkin, tape, hooks. Oh, I need to fill in those O's. And then we're good to go. So we have them printed out. And of course, as always, to make them more sturdy, I am going to glue them to a thicker piece of paper. Here we go. They turned out a little bit smaller than I had hoped, but I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, so we are now just gonna cut these out. One hour later. All right, we have all of our words cut out. I really like the font. I feel like this, wait, this looks like the Totally Trendy font. Did I totally just pick the Totally Trendy font? Did I also just say totally in that? Wow, okay. Now it is time to attach these to the cardigan. That Jeremy Scott like sweater dress, they were kind of sticking off of it a little bit. I have fabric glue, but that seems a little intense considering it's just, you know, paper. What if I just tried like stitching it, you know? I could just put like tiny, tiny stitches on the black pieces. I think I'm gonna do that. All right, all of them are officially attached. I feel like this is pretty much the gist 
of what that photo was. Obviously it's cheetah print and it's not a solid color, but let's just pop this bad boy on and see how we feel. Do I look cool and fashiony, or do I just look like a grandma who's wearing a really bad pun Halloween costume? That's also the vibe this is giving me. <laughs> Jeremy Scott in Walmart, that's what this is. Could you see this on the runway? Should I just look very upset like, I feel like that's a lot of runway models' faces in shows like this. Now let's go show Sierra first and see what she thinks. Let's see if she spots out her word. It's called fashion, look it up. <laughs> this is what we call fashion. I don't know. Fashion. I was hoping it would make sense. I was hoping that there was an actual reasoning behind that, but you just let me down. Yeah, so, no, I'm sorry. How are they attached? Did you staple them? I just sewed little. Oh, cool. Does this look like something that would be like trying to make a statement on a runway? I mean, I think anything is possible on a runway. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think what bothers me is that the words are just like, with the wind, you know what I mean? I feel like they had yeah, to stick out because that's how it is in the Maybe photo. It's, it's making me feel something, so I think that means it's art. It's a look. Do you think it's like a fashion runway look that could be used in the real world though? I could definitely see certain types of people wearing that. Yeah. Like with some like funky sneakers and funky pants, yeah. Okay. Sure, yeah. okay. It's not the most horrendous thing. It's just pretty uh, avant-garde. Yes. That's the term I was looking for. I'm not completely sold on this one, you know? But we need to get started on the stuffed animal shirt, jacket, vest thing. Now, I have a bunch of t-shirts, but I also have this denim vest. And I feel more inclined right now to attach them to the front of this vest. Like, I know the one that we saw was like a crop top, but like we're not doing that. This is a medium in men's. I don't know what it's gonna take to cover the front. We have a lot of stuffed animals. I also got some big ones so we could kind of like cover the back, like if we have enough to cover the front. So I'm gonna lay this down and we are going to kind of like map out the stuffed animals. Let's just start with some of the classics. The good old teddy bear. I also have like these Disney ones too. I feel like they're cute. I really wanna put this one somewhere like there this feels like good placement for the front now that i kind of have the placement of everything i'm just gonna like remove tags and then we are going to secure them all down cue the hot glue montage Before you comment, no, I haven't changed the dry erase board since the last video, okay? It is time to lift this up. I just hope they all stay on. I really don't know how like they're gonna do weight-wise. This is heavy. Fashion. Wow. <laughs> oh gosh. This of course is the front. We still have to put something on the back. This is about to go on the back. I feel like this is something that like, would be on the back of a jacket like this, just a unicorn. I'll just sew the hands and the feet. All right, I sewed it down. <laughs> what is my life? This is so heavy. Fashion. So yeah, this is where we are. Thoughts, comments, concerns. I still have access to the pockets. Not on this side, whoops. Hey CJ, do you wanna come into my office and see some fashion? Come on camera right on? Yeah. On my way. Daddy's home. Oh, what? Fashion. Whoa, stuffed animal we are fashion? avant-garde. Yo, that is sick. Oh, we are sick. beyond New York Fashion Week. We are in the real world. Thoughts of like it being in the real world though. Mm. Like if I came to work like this, no. Not sis. I haven't seen myself either. I need to get like a full body mirror and put it somewhere because like I need yeah, to like, see what myself. The heck? Put a full body this. mirror in here. Just holding on for dear life. Oh it's a look. <laughs> Truly. That's so clean. I just want can I give you a hug? That's exactly what I said. I just gave her a hug. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so good. Hannah, That's come so here. Lovely. Hannah, hug me. Wait. Oh my gosh, we're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> the best is the unicorn in the back. Yeah, so this is me bringing looks I've seen on the runway to the real world. So how do we feel about stuffed animal jackets, tops? When did you see this on the runway? Yeah, when? Fashion week Machino. last year. It work. looks like you're a child <laughs> therapist. <laughs> yeah. Come get my teddy bears. <laughs> no. Well, thanks for your opinions. I love the unicorn. 
Do you ever really question what you do for a living? Because sometimes I walk out and about like this. It's called fashion, look it up. Is this video just gonna <laughs> escalate every time? <laughs> So many thoughts. Lay them on me. Are you gonna kidnap my children? No. Okay, you have the outfit to do so. Really? All you have to say is, hey kids, you want some stuff? I feel like I'm like selling stuffed animals at a carnival. That too, that's where I was headed. Or first. like I'm the prize wall. Yeah. So on a real note, runway to real world. No. No. That's a no. Yeah, I, I, I think this one like obviously saved the best for last because it was so absurd, but like it's a fat no. Hard pass. So high fashion in the real world. It has its applications and it doesn't. Definitely with the first one, for example, if the words were like printed onto it, could be a cool funky statement piece for someone. This I don't really know how you would adapt this piece of art for real world use, but I'm sure someone out there could figure out how. Sometimes art is just meant to be observed, not necessarily worn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I love big DIY projects like these that are pretty outlandish. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.